Hey, I'm Jonas. In this video, I will guide you on how to farm Lunar Eclipse Dragon Jade Fragments and Stigmata. Now, without further ado, let's start. First, let's focus on how to farm Lunar Eclipse Dragon Jade Fragments. There are six types of Lunar Eclipse Fragments, and these are, Holy, Crystal Clear, Burning, Pitch Black, Tailwind, and Ardent Lunar Eclipse Fragments. You will get these fragments after you've cleared nest stages at Labyrinth 11 difficulty or above. You may ask that, how do I find these nests? The entrance portal for Manticore and Serpentra's nest is located in Hermalt Port. The entrance portal for Professor K, Archbishop, and Gigante's nest is located in Riverwort Wharf. The entrance portal for Volcano, Guardian, and Mist nest is located in Anu Arendelle. The entrance portal for Granum and Daedalo's nest is located in Radams. The entrance portal for Chiron Nest is located in Merka's Port. And last, the entrance portal for Typhoon Kim's Nest is located in Grey Ruins. Important note, you will get two types of Lunar Eclipse Fragments for each nest stage. Now, you may ask that, how many fragments can I get from doing these nests at Labyrinth 11? This is the drop table of Lunar Eclipse Fragments for each Labyrinth difficulty. As you can see, the higher the Labyrinth difficulty, the higher the drop amount of Lunar Eclipse Fragments. You can also get a jackpot amount with a low probability drop chance. Important note, once you've cleared a nest stage, you cannot re-enter again, because the clear limit is set to once a week only. Okay, you might say that, so if I can only clear it once a week, how can I farm more Lunar Eclipse Fragments? You can use your sub-characters to do nest stages at Labyrinth 11 or above to farm for more Lunar Eclipse Fragments. The fragments you've collected using your sub-characters can be transferred through the normal server storage to your main character, or any character who needs these fragments the most. So let's just say you have 5 maxed level characters, and all of them can do nest stages at Labyrinth 11 or above without issue. Based on this drop amount table, in total, you can get 800 Lunar Eclipse Fragments for each type per week from farming using your 5 maxed level characters. You can also get additional Lunar Eclipse Fragments after you've killed a Frozen Invader that appears on any nest stage. Here are the drop amount of Lunar Eclipse Fragments after you've killed a Frozen Invader in each Labyrinth difficulty. Important note, expect that you will not encounter a Frozen Invader because the spawn is based on chance percentage, which means the appearance chance of Frozen Invader is low. The other way to get Lunar Eclipse Fragments is by doing the World Weekly Task, Clear Lucky Zone 90 times in one week. To see the task list, press V on your keyboard, then go to the task list and click on the World Weekly Task List. To clear this task, you will need to use your sub-characters to do Lucky Zone stages every day until you've accumulated 90 Lucky Zone clears. Important note, any character from your account that has cleared a Lucky Zone stage will be counted as one clear, so it's fast to use multiple characters than using only one character to do this task. Please take note that the weekly task will reset every Saturday at 9am GMT plus 8. So make sure to clear the task before the reset. Once you've cleared the task, you will get a total of 800 Lunar Eclipse Fragments for each type. Now, you might ask that, I already know how to farm Lunar Eclipse Fragments, but how do I get these high-grade Lunar Eclipse Fragments? First, find any Priestess of Darkness NPC in St. Haven. Priestess of Darkness NPC is located in this part of St. Haven. Talk to any Priestess of Darkness there, and then select Nest Shop. You will see all the high-grade Lunar Eclipse Fragments needed to craft rare, epic, and unique Lunar Eclipse Jades. Buying one high-grade Fragment requires 100 normal Lunar Eclipse Fragments of the same type. For example, to buy one high-grade Holy Lunar Eclipse Fragment, you'll need to have 100 Holy Lunar Eclipse Fragments. Okay. Now that you know how and where to farm Lunar Eclipse Fragments, we will now focus on how to get or farm Lunar Eclipse Stigmata. Just like Lunar Eclipse Fragments, you can also get Lunar Eclipse Stigmata from clearing nest stages at Labyrinth 11 difficulty or above. Here is the drop rate chance of Lunar Eclipse Stigmata in each Labyrinth difficulty. Please take note that while it is possible to get Lunar Eclipse Stigmata at lower Labyrinth difficulty, but at a low probability chance only, but in Labyrinth 20 or above, the chance is 50% and higher. Besides the nest stage drop, you can also get a Lunar Eclipse Stigmata by doing the 3 World Weekly Task, clear a specific nest at Labyrinth 20 to get 4 Lunar Eclipse Stigmata. You might ask that, how can I clear Labyrinth 20 if my character hasn't fully geared yet? If your character is not geared yet, then I advise that you buy Floor 20 Weekly Nest Clear Service. To find a Floor 20 Weekly Nest Clear Service, press O on your keyboard, 
Then go to the party tab and search weekly nest service. By the time this video was recorded, the current weekly nest clear service price costs from about 6,000 gold up to 8,000 gold. Once you've cleared the three weekly nest tasks, you will get a total of 12 lunar eclipse stigmata. You can also get two additional lunar eclipse stigmata by completing the weekly task, clear 90 lucky zone stages. If you want to transfer lunar eclipse stigmata to your sub characters, you need to use an item called lunar eclipse seal ring. This item is used to put one lunar eclipse stigmata into the special server storage. You can buy a lunar eclipse seal ring from the priestess of darkness NPC's nest shop. Important note, buying one lunar eclipse seal ring costs one lunar eclipse stigmata. The other way to get a lunar eclipse seal ring is by completing the weekly task, clear 30, 60, and 90 lucky zone stages. Please take note that, the weekly task will reset every Saturday at 9am GMT plus 8. So make sure to clear the task before the reset. Okay, you might say that, I can't do much of these farming strategies because I don't have sub characters yet, or my characters is not that well geared to do nest stages, or I don't have enough gold to buy a weekly nest clear service. Is there a much easier and more accessible way to farm for these materials? The answer is yes, and one of the most easiest and free ways to get Lunar Eclipse Fragments in Stigmata is by logging in daily for the Attendance Event Rewards. To see the Attendance Event Rewards, press V on your keyboard, and you will see all the free items you can get, just by logging in daily. You can get a decent amount of Lunar Eclipse Fragments in Stigmata just from logging in daily. So don't sleep on these daily Attendance Rewards. The other way to get Lunar Eclipse Fragments in Stigmata for free is by participating in the monthly limited time events. Every month, Dragon Nest C releases limited time events with different rewards. One example of these limited time events is the Flower Road event. By collecting these shiny things in dungeons, you will get a spring flower which you can use to buy different items from Storyteller Kathy's event shop in St. Haven. This is the exchangeable reward for spring flower. As you can see, there are Lunar Eclipse Fragments Pouch and Lunar Eclipse Stigmata listed in the event shop. Important note, this is a limited time event, so by the time you've watched this video, the event may have already been closed or finished. So, to know more about upcoming limited time events, I highly suggest visiting Dragon Nest C's official website to stay updated on the upcoming patch note and events. If you want free carry for all nest at Labyrinth 15 or 20, in that case, I highly suggest following Team Lab OTV's Nest Assist live stream on Facebook. Now that you know how to farm Lunar Eclipse Fragments in Stigmata, I highly suggest watching my video on how to craft and reroll Lunar Eclipse Dragon Jades. That's all for this video, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the comment section below.